All right, Rosie. I'm going to be taking us through uh, the pedals that I use for my rig. I play guitar and bass uh, simultaneously through two separate rigs, but these are the pedals that I use with them. And I will uh, get right down here and explain what each thing is. This is the pedal that changes between four channels that you can pre-program for the uh, Fender Cyber Twin Amp I have. It has a ton of built-in presets. Uh, next thing in line is my bass zoom. It's good for a lot of really, really ugly sounds. I actually use that mostly for my guitar, which is uh, very bad sounding, honestly. Uh, then we move over to the bass balls, which uh, normally a lot of people would use this for a keyboard. Get some pretty disgusting sounds. Uh, move on to my K-Oscillator, which I use in conjunction with the guitars and bass. I tend not to send it through anything. It's separate by itself. It's got some pretty amazing noises. Then I have the pedal that switches one of the two bass rigs I have. Uh, the button on the left is for distortion and the button on the right is to activate the octave control on the amp. Uh, the newest addition to my lineup is my Line 6 M3, uh, M13 Stompbox Modeler. Uh, complete 12 scenes. You can dial up at 12 pedals at 12 scenes. Sick. Got 75 built-in effects pedals. Then we have my Jam Man Looping Station, which can hold up to six and a half hours of loops. I go kind of crazy with this thing. This is very fun. Uh, this is the pedal that goes with it, so you can switch between the save loops. And then I have a bass station, a Digitech bass station, which has tons of great sounds in it. Fretless wahs, compressors, uh, stomp box, uh, amps, stomp box simulators, equalizers, gates and effects, delays, reverbs, expressions, all that stuff. Uh, with the volume slash wah wah pedal, it's pretty intense. Then an old school Digitech RP100. There's some really disgusting modeling guitar processor sounds. And then after that, I have my uh, Behringer volume pedal. Uh, I use this quite a bit actually. I love using it alongside any other effect. But, uh, I'm just a fan of the swell, you know? Then I have my bass synth wah. It's a bass envelope filter with a ton of like 70s uh, jazz fusion y funk settings. Pretty cool. Then I have my death metal pedal for my extreme distortions. Uh, a digital delay, which is one of my favorite pedals. An old school MXR overdrive pedal that only works when you have it in stop position. It does not lock in. Another old school rat distortion pedal. And I have two I have a Dan Electro Octave Chili Dog and a Dan Electro Phaser Pepperoni. Uh, so this is my rig. This is what I use uh, for my band uh, to be named later by a non human. But you can actually watch some of our videos here on YouTube. Uh, you will probably not like what it sounds like. Anyway. That's my rig.